welcome along to part two of our video series where we are creating a four bedroom house using Autodesk Revit. Um, what we're going to be doing in this particular video is adding the interior walls to the house. We've already done the exterior, as you can see on your screen already. There's our 3D view showing you the exterior of the house. Okay, so it's now time to split up all the different rooms inside the house. So to do that, we're going to go up to our architecture tab at the top and select the wall feature. And we're going to change in our properties from the basic brick veneer 250 timber wall to the stud timber 70. All right. From here, we're going to start at the back of the house and add in two bedrooms. Okay, this little section that pokes out the back of the house is going to be split into two equally sized bedrooms. So, with our wall tool selected, we're going to click right on the corner here, this end point. Click once, just drag your mouse down, and then click again when you get into the center of this bottom exterior wall. Okay, you'll see a blue line run straight through the middle of it. And that connects them up. Just press escape once on your keyboard, that'll just drop that wall into place, but it still keeps the wall tool selected. And what we're going to do now is we're going to come down the middle of this exterior wall until we see a little pink triangle appear underneath our mouse, which is right there. That shows us we've got the midpoint of that line, so we can click once, and then click a second time over on this interior wall we just created. Press escape again, and you can see now we've got two bedrooms made up. Okay, if you press escape one more time, I'll just turn the wall tool right off. And if we can go to 3D view, you can see over here now, we've got two bedrooms. Okay, if you want to make this um, 3D view look a little bit more realistic, remember to go down the bottom here and hit this little cube and change it to realistic. That'll just add a splash of color into your house with some shadows as well. Okay, so you can see we've got two bedrooms out the back of our house. Alright, so far so good, so I'm just going to go back to the ground floor view. And what we might do now is add in the two car garage. So, grab your wall tool again. We're going to stick with the basic stud timber 70 wall. I'm going to come down to this section here. Okay, you can either click on the corner or in the middle there. It doesn't really matter because we're going to have a bit of an issue that we're going to fix anyway in just a moment. So click once, bring your mouse up. 4400 we're looking for, so 4400 up, there we are, once we get to the 4400 click and move to the right and connect it to the middle of the exterior wall there at the front of the house. Press escape twice, that turns your wall tool off and you've got your double garage added. Now the issue that I was talking about before, if we zoom back in on our starting point, you'll see the walls aren't quite aligned here. So this interior wall isn't lined up nicely with this exterior wall. Okay, so there'd be this awkward little bump in our wall if we were to run with that. We don't want that. If we go to the 3D view, you might just see that a little bit. Swing it around here. This little bump here. Doesn't look very professional, does it? It's not a nice finish. Okay, so back on our ground floor view, what we can do is align these two black lines here to get them matching with one another. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just click on it, this interior wall we added in and up the top in your modifier ribbon that comes up, select this option here, the align option. It's a little blue and white graph. Okay, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking on this black line once here. So click once, that selects it. And it says, what do you want to align that with? Well, we want to align it with this black line just here. So click on this one as well. And it just moves it over, or just nudges it over a little bit. So you've now got a perfectly straight line. Okay, and that wall in 3D will look a lot nicer. It's just a smooth wall. Alrighty, so that's our two-car garage thrown in. So we've got two bedrooms and a garage so far. Next thing you want to do is just come up the top section here and add in the master bedroom. Um, there's a bit of fiddling around with this one as well. So let's grab the stud timber 70 wall again. Zoom in a bit up here. We're just going to start in this corner somewhere and click and we're going to drag across a total of 2400. There we go, so we need 2400, click. And I want you to go up, a, yeah, we'll go all the way to the top actually and just hit that middle section of the exterior wall and click. Okay, press escape once and you've got your master bedroom in. Again, the issue being our walls just don't align properly just here, so go and grab your align tool, click on the inside black line of that bedroom wall, and click on this inside line of the exterior wall so that they both align with one another. So now you've got straight lines for the master bedroom. That looks good. 
Um, gave me to our architecture tab here. We'll grab the wall feature. And we're going to go up a total of about 1,200 here. Actually, I might go across first. So we're going to go across from this point. Come across 1,600. Click. And then we're going to go up a total of about 1,200. Actually, that might even be a bit far. Let's make it... We'll make it a 1,000. So we go up a 1,000 and click. And then come back across to the right and attach it to the interior wall you created before. Press Escape. That there is our walk-in robe. Okay, what we're going to do now is just connect this up to the top as well. Make sure it connects to the top center of that exterior wall. And that's going to be our ensuite. Press Escape twice. Okay, you can see we've got a bit of an issue with our joins here. They don't connect properly. Let's fix that just by clicking on one of these lines, grabbing the Align tool. And what we're going to do is going to click on this black line down the bottom here and align it with this black line down the bottom here. Then we're going to come out to the left side and click on this black line. And we're going to align it by clicking on this black line. There we go. So we've now got a small walk-in robe and an ensuite coming off the main bedroom. Alrighty, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a linen cupboard over here. And we're going to put in the laundry up here, which is going to be basically the same size as our walk-in robe and ensuite here. So make sure you've got your wall tool selected and you've got your stud timber 70 wall still. Okay, let's just see if this is going to work. We want to come across a total of 1600 from here. It's basically going to hit the midpoint there, I think. And I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom. I want to pretty much get level with this section over here. And you don't want to draw a line that goes across to the right. We're just going to leave that open. So just press Escape. The only line we want to draw in is the one that goes from there to there. Okay, so just click and click. Oops, I just went a bit too far there. I'll just undo that and go again. So clicking on that middle section and then clicking on that inner section. That will join that wall up. So what we've got now is a laundry up here and a walk-in, oh, not a walk-in robe, a linen cupboard just here. We will be adding doors and um, things like that and openings through these walls a little bit later on, but we're just getting the walls set up for now. Okay, so that's our master bedroom, ensuite, walk-in robe, linen cupboard, and laundry all done. Okay, so that's the top right section of our house done. So zooming out to have a look now. Okay, that's what we should have so far. Now, don't worry if your dimensions is a little bit different to mine. I'm not worried too much about the sizes. As long as you've got it looking very similar to this, you should be happy. Okay, you might have also noticed we've created a hallway just here. This is going to be the front door a bit later. And this is the hallway that leads through to the living area in the house. Okay, so this massive section up here is just going to be the lounge room. There's nothing that's going to go in there. Apart from the furniture, obviously. We have the kitchen along here and some cupboards as well and then down here we've got bathroom and another bedroom so let's start getting that section done all right so let's grab the wall tool and we're going to come in level with this section here i'm just going to draw a line that goes straight across like so press escape twice we just need to get this lined up nicely you can see that it's a little bit off so using your modify tool click on one of those walls Grab your Align tool, and remember, click on the top black line here, and the top black line here, just to get them perfectly aligned with one another. Press Escape to turn that off. Okay, we might create the bedroom first if we can. So let's grab the Architecture tool, our tab and grab the wall again. Starting off our two-car garage here, we're going to come in a total of 3,000. Oops, where was it? There it is there. 3,000 and we're going to go straight down and connect it to the bottom wall. Press escape twice. That there now is bedroom, what's the fourth bedroom now? We've got all the bedrooms drawn in now. Okay, this little section in here is what we want to change into a bathroom and basically a mini hallway. Alright, so with our wall tool selected yet again, what are we going to be doing here? Um, 17, I'm just working out some maths here. So we've got 1700, so 1300, we need to come down here. Let's see if it's going to let us. There we go, we come down 1300, click, run it straight across here, and attach it to that wall. 
Press escape once. And we just need to make a toilet that's about 1200 wide here. So click and then click and press escape twice. Okay, so what we've got now is a new bedroom. We've got a toilet and we've got the bathroom where we're going to just put in a shower and probably a wash basin, something like that. This is going to be a little hallway. Okay, once we add some doors, it'll lead to the bedrooms and will also lead back into the living area. Okay, so that there is most of our interior walls done. What have we got left to add? We've just got a little cupboard section around here. Butler's pantry and a little cupboard, actually. So, with our wall tool selected again, we're going to come in about a thousand from that left-hand side. We're going to click. Actually, we're not going to click there. We're going to go... Actually, we will, sorry. <laughs> just trying to work this out. So a thousand will go up. Uh, we'll go up about 1400. Click. We're going to go across 600. Click and come straight down the bottom and attach it to that interior wall. Okay, and once you've done that, just press escape twice and click on this line and delete it. Okay, this is just going to be a little open cupboard here. We're going to put in some built in um, shelving there. And to make our butler's pantry, we'll just grab that wall one more time. I'm going to come off this point here, come across about 1250. What's you? 1200, actually, that'll probably do us. 1200 across. And we're going to come straight down and attach it to the bottom. Okay, you can see those walls aren't aligned very neatly, so just grab your align tool from at the top and align those top two black lines. All right, so there's a bit of stuffing around there, but we finally got there in the end. Interior walls are the thing that I hate most when doing this, so it's a very fiddly job. But once you get them all in, hopefully you've got something looking like that. I'll stop the video now, and we'll come back shortly and add in a few doors and windows.